We're doing it. We're doing the thing. <laughs> this Thursday, my entire family is going on a two week vacation to Italy. More specifically, the northern part of Tuscany in a town called Lucca. Now this is unlike any trip my family has ever done. This is a trip where we all have to get on a plane. We've never done that. That said, we're doing it. And, and I couldn't be more excited. We wanna eat crusty bread, drink good wine, eat some stinky cheese, and, and probably more pasta than I really should. But we're doing it. But as a photographer, you and I both know that a vacation isn't just a vacation. I mean, it's a break away from your job, yeah, but it's not a break away from work. Because if you're anything like me, then every vacation you go on turns into a mini assignment. You're gonna bring your camera with you everywhere, you're gonna look through your lens with a newfound view, and you're gonna do everything in your power to create that masterful body of work that's been buried deep inside of you for all of these years. But again, maybe that's just me. Nonetheless, to create this masterful body of work that we're looking to create on this vacation, we're going to need some camera gear. And so that brings us to today's video. What's in my camera bag for travel? The bag. First things first, you're gonna want a bag. Now this could be a tote, a backpack, a fanny, one of the sticks with a handkerchief tied around it. It really doesn't matter, but you're gonna wanna get yourself a bag. I opted for the Wandered Provoke 31 liters. Next, we have the camera. And this one's a bit of a doozy. You see, a lot of people would prioritize size here. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that. You see, I love my Fuji X100F. I really do. I, I can't say enough great things about this camera, but I really love my 50R. So that said, this is the camera that I'm gonna be bringing. This and only this. And by only this, I mean I'm also gonna be bringing my Nikon point and shoot because I mean, come on, it's Italy and summer and film and memories and blah, 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 blah. I'm bringing it and I'm gonna bring a lot of film. And I mean, I, I sort of lied. Being the dedicated content creator that I am, I'll also be bringing my Lumix S5 II and the Sigma 24 to 70 that I have to go with it that I am uh, filming this on. Yeah. And next up, we got camera accessories, or as the pros call it, doohickeys. And these, I'm just gonna breeze through because uh, they're tiny, and so they get a tiny segment. First up, we have the DJI mic. Now this thing is amazing. I've charged it like twice in the past year. The audio quality out of it is great if you know how to edit it properly, which I'm learning. And yeah, I can't say enough great things. It's a no-brainer, it's coming with. For storage, I'll be bringing my Samsung T5 portable SSD. Super light, super portable, good amount of storage. Again, no brainer, absolutely coming with. Peak Design strap is next. It's really the only strap I use. Shutter release cable. Uh, I'm really looking to take long exposure nighttime photos of the Tuscan Hills while I'm in Italy. Uh, so this, uh, is necessary for that. That said, I almost always forget these when I travel, so we're looking to not forget it this time. We're gonna bring it. We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're definitely gonna bring it. What else do we need for long exposure nighttime photography? You guessed it, a tripod. So I'm opting to bring the Peak Design tripod. This one's just super light, super portable, and honestly it just makes the most sense. Next, we got the Puff Daddy. So this, I, re I mean, I hardly use it, but I'm scared to travel without one. So I'm bringing it. Obviously all of the chargers uh, and everything will be coming with me. So I have the chargers and all, any of the necessary adapters that I need to bring uh, coming as well. Next we have this little Peak Design shoulder strap thingy. And so this is really helpful for people like myself who carry two cameras, one for video, one for photo, and they just wanna strap one onto their shoulder strap while they carry the other. And in my opinion, it just makes the weight of carrying two cameras like way more and endurable. Next up, we got the, uh, probably the doohickey of all doohickeys, and that's this little small rig multi-tool. So this multi-tool, I always bring with me in every backpack wherever I go, just because it's helpful for photography, it's helpful for not photography, it has every tool you would need. Super durable, it's great, I love it, it's coming with. And last, but certainly not least, we have uh, this book. So this is more of a photo accessory than it is a camera accessory, but it's read this if you wanna take great photos of places. It's just a cool book with a lot of digestible snippets 
uh, to help photographers be more intentional when they're photographing. And so it covers a lot of things, but the main thing it does is try to help photographers use composition to add more context to the photographs that they're taking. Really cool book and offers a lot of quick inspo. So I feel like it's helpful to have something like that when you're traveling. Oh, uh, and how can I forget? Passport. Because yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're traveling. And that's it. That is essentially everything. I have my main photo camera, my main video camera, a fun film camera, and all of the necessary accessories I need to get the most out of all of those cameras. Now certainly there are gonna be packs that are lighter than this, and certainly there are gonna be packs that are heavier than this. But the important thing to remember is you need to pack what's important for you to get the photographs that you <laughs> want to get. So do a little bit of proper planning before your next trip. Maybe scout some areas out on Google Maps. So that way you have all of the necessary gear that you need in order to get the photos that you're looking to get. And that way you can become the master photographer that we all know is buried in there inside all of us. So look, uh, as always, if you made it this far, I appreciate it more than you know. If you liked it, like it, subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.